Welcome to Yellow Submarine. Today, we are going to be talking and looking at the song, The Beatles, Julia. Before you proceed, kindly like and subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell to get our latest update. Julia is a song by the English rock band, The Beatles, from their 1968 double album, The Beatles, also known as The White Album. It is performed as a solo piece by John Lennon. The song was written by Lennon, though credited to Lennon-McCartney, about his mother, Julia Lennon who died in 1958 at the age of 44. The track is the final song on side two, disc one on CD, of The Beatles, and was the last song recorded for the album. In 1976, it was issued as the B-side of the Beatles single, Obladi Oblada. Julia was written by John Lennon, credited to Lennon McCartney, in the key of D major and features Lennon on vocals and acoustic guitar. It was written during the Beatles' 1968 visit to Rishikesh in northern India where they were studying under the Maharashi Mahesh Yogi. It was here where Lennon learned the song's finger-picking guitar style, known as Travis Picking, from the Scottish musician Donovan. Donovan later explained, He, Lennon, told me he wanted to write a song about his mother. He said, Donovan, you're the king of children's songs. Can you help me? I want to write a song about the childhood that I never really had with my mother. He asked me to help him with the images that he could use in lyrics for a song about this subject. And John said, I'm at a beach, and I'm holding hands with my mother, and we're walking together, and I helped him with a couple of lines, seashell eyes, windy smile, for the Lewis Carroll, Alice in Wonderland feel that John loves so much. No other Beatles sings or plays on the song. While Paul McCartney made several solo recordings attributed to the group, dating back to his famous song Yesterday, this is the only time that Lennon played and sang unaccompanied on a Beatles track. The ballad itself was the final track to be composed during recording sessions for The Beatles. Julia was written for John's mother, Julia Lennon, 1914 to 1958, who was killed by a car driven by an off-duty probationary police officer when John was 17 years old. The officer was not drunk, as is often reported. He was cleared of any charges. Witnesses stated that it was getting dark and Julia was rushing across the road to catch her bus. The police officer left the force soon after to work in the post office. Julia Lennon had encouraged her son's interest in music and bought him his first guitar. But after she split with John's father, John was taken in by his aunt Mimi and Julia started a new family with another man. Though she lived just a few miles from John, Julia did not spend much time with him for several years. Their relationship began to improve as he neared adolescence. Though, as in the words of his half-sister, Julia Baird, as he grew older, John would stay with us more often. He and daddy got along well enough, and in the evenings when our daddy, a head waiter, was at work, John and mummy would sit together and listen to records. She was an avid Elvis Presley fan, and she and John would jive around the room to Heartbreak Hotel and other early Elvis recordings. John inherited his love for music from her, and she encouraged him to start with piano and banjo, making him play a tune again and again until he got it right. I lost her twice, Lennon said, once as a five-year-old when I moved in with my auntie, and once again when she physically died. The song was also written for his future wife, Yoko Ono, whose first name, which means child of the sea in Japanese, is echoed in the lyric, Ocean Child Calls Me. Towards the end of his life, he often called Yoko mother. The line, half of what I say is meaningless, but I say it just to reach you, was a slight variation of Khalil Gibran's Sand and Foam, 1926, in which the original verse reads, half of what I say is meaningless, but I say it so that the other half may reach you. Lennon also adopted the lines, When I cannot sing my heart, I can only speak my mind. From Gibran's, When life does not find a singer to sing her heart, she produces a philosopher to speak her mind. Julia was originally released as the final song on side two of The Beatles on November 22nd, 1968. In 1976, it was released as the B-side of the Obladi Oblada single. In 1988, Julia was one of the nine Beatles songs on the soundtrack album Imagine, John Lennon. In 2006, a portion was used for the Love Album, mixed with Eleanor Rigby. Going deep to behind the song, The Beatles' Julia is the further revelation discovery of the bio and family history of Julia Stanley. Julia Stanley was the fourth of five sisters. That's one of the important things to bear in mind about her relationship with her son. She had John with her husband Alf, who was a merchant seaman. John was born in October 1940, while Alf was away serving in the Merchant Navy during World War II. Julia Lennon was what they used to call high-spirited, meaning that she wasn't exactly too concerned about marriage vows and being solemnly faithful to her absent husband. 
Alf Lennon was himself a waster who her family disliked. He deserted from the merchant navy in 1943, whereupon they stopped getting his regular packets of money. The eldest Stanley sister, Mary, known as Mimi, was far more responsible, and after Mimi got tired of Julia's rather irregular way of life and her relationship with her boyfriend, Julia rather reluctantly let Mimi act in loco parentis and be the one to bring up young John. There was some back and forth about custody between Alf and Julia, which went down in Lennon's mind as a primal scene in which his father asked him, at the age of five, to choose between his mother and his father, and Lennon chose his father, before breaking down and running to his mother. This may not have happened as he recalled it, but John had a complex relationship with his parents and his aunt. He lived with Mimi and her husband George Smith from 1946 to the very late 50s, sometimes spending time with him at the house of his other aunts. From the age of 11, he started to visit his mother at the home she shared with her boyfriend, Bobby Dickens, and their kids. After a certain point in the 50s, the rift between Mimi and Julia was mended, and the sisters started to spend more time together. However, in June 1955, George Smith died. In July 1958, Julia Lennon was knocked down and killed by a car driven by an off-duty policeman. John Lennon was inconsolable, and for several years after, he was deeply, fundamentally unhappy, dealing or failing to deal with it, employing a combination of alcohol and drug abuse and hard work. The incident had the side effect of cementing his friendship with Paul McCartney, whose own mother had died in October 1956, a few months before he and Lennon first met. The Beatles' family lives are full of dead and absent parents. Alf Lennon disappeared from his son's life. His beloved de facto stepfather, George Smith, died when he was a teenager. Mary McCartney died when her son Paul was only 14. Ringo's star dad, Big Richie Starkey, was almost absent from his family's life, and his mother Elsie raised him essentially as a single mother. Only Harrison's family remained largely intact through his childhood. It was part of a series of insults that John leveled at Paul during the difficult time in their relationship. The song is one big critique of Paul and how, in Lennon's mind, he unfairly dominated the latter part of their musical partnership with the Beatles. It is a sardonic way of saying, oh, you were really surprised that Sgt. Pepper turned out the way it did? In reality, John thought Paul interfered with the recording, creation, and production of that album to a severe fault. He thought Paul approached it as if it were a solo album, as far as the songs he wrote were concerned. Many agreed with the general sentiment, but few appreciated the bile and venom he showed on this song and at this stage of his career. John later apologized, and the two were very close when John tragically died. I do think there would have been a Beatles reunion of some kind, if only because the money would have been so insane they could not have resisted. And I think they would have had some fun. Perhaps they would even have performed this song. Lennon retained a strong and possibly slightly Oedipal attachment to his mother, and he wrote Julia about her, linking her with his new partner, Yoko Ono. Yoko means ocean child, hence the inclusion of that phrase in the song, although some scholars believe Yoko does not mean ocean child in Japanese. It means positive child in Japanese. He also wrote the song Mother about her during his solo career. Lennon was brought up by Julia's sister, Mimi. He saw his mother often as a child, but she was a bit of a free spirit, and it was thought Mimi would serve better as a caregiver, but that thought later got frustrated. John is quoted by saying Julia was based on his impressions of both his mother and Yoko Ono.